Hello, hello. Hi, I am Jill Nichols with Simple Souls. Thank you so much for joining our Creator Crafts and Inspiration event. It is Small Business Saturday. And as a creator with Magnolia Design Co., I am excited to give you a little look into my small business. Today, we will be making Christmas tree ornaments. So I am going to be using all Magnolia Design Co. products. And um, here, let me just show you a little bit about what I'm going to be using. So first of all, I'm going to be using the Natural Edge Wood Ornaments with Jute. So they are ready to hang. They actually come like this. So that is a great, great feature. Um, I will also be using our... Um, stencil that is the rolling pins reindeer stencil because I just thought wouldn't it be cute if you had all of the reindeer on an ornament so I thought that would be great good morning Wendy and I'm trying to see all of the um <laughs> hi good morning cat I'm going to try to see all the messages but for some reason they are um popping up kind of weird on my phone so I may try to turn on my iPad just so I can Hopefully keep up with you guys there. Oh, thank you so much for all the hearts. I love it. I love it. You guys are amazing. Um, okay, so then I'm also going to be using chalk paste because I love chalk paste. I have coal black. Um, what else here? Chocolate brown, candy apple, um, peppermint leaf. I just love to use various, various things. Hi, Pamela. Hi, Melanie. You did an awesome, awesome craft earlier today. I absolutely loved that angel. That was gorgeous. I actually have the angel, and now I think I know what I'm going to do with her. So thanks, Melanie. Um, okay, so I am trying to see, like I said, <laughs> the comments, but for some reason, it is not showing up right on my phone. I can only see every, like, few comments. So let me just real quick try to pop this up here so hopefully I can see the comments a little bit better. All right. <laughs> um, I'm also going to be using, obviously, our um, cut, small cut apart squeegees, um, which I have in various sizes. I also love, love, love the one that came in the November Craft Club. So I'll probably be using that one as well as our paintbrush squeegees. These are probably my favorite things to use, especially this one. I don't know. I definitely get my use out of that. So I'll be using those and, of course, the tacky towel. Um, so hopefully that you all can see what I'm doing here. I can see that um, I maybe needed to angle my camera down just a little bit more, but I'll make sure I do it back here so that you can see what I'm going to be doing today. So um, awesome. Anyways, also make sure that you fill out the Google form for a chance to win a stencil. Awesome. We've already had at least one winner today. So congratulations to the winners. You can win an exclusive, not for purchase, Magnolia Design Co. stencil. So that is awesome. I'm so excited. Um, also, since it is Small Business Saturday, I am going to be actually telling you about my short but significant journey here with Magnolia Design Co. I am excited to give you a look into my small business. It is um, just a good, good thing. Okay, so I am just going to go ahead and, thank you. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, fuzz my stencil and do my project while you're watching. So this is awesome. All right, so I think what I'm gonna do is actually just kind of prep these and get them ready and then I will go back and get all of that on, or at least do maybe a few at a time. Um, so let me tell you a little bit about my journey so far. I just joined Magnolia Design Co. last month. Yes, in October. Um, so I'm very, very new. I'm actually a psychotherapist, and in our profession, we are always expressing the importance of self-care. So I was looking for a little hobby that I could just do myself. Um, I love to build things and I can problem solve really great, but I really wanted to be able to make pretty things, but I'm not really that artistic. So enter Magnolia Design Co. Oh, I guess I should pay attention a little bit to what I'm doing because I need to make sure I get them at least somewhat on there straight. The good thing about crafting is perfection is not required. <laughs> um, so enter Magnolia Design Co. And I have found that without any artistic skill at all, I can now create some fun home decor. 
and um, I have been so shocked at how things find out, um, have turned out. The peel, reveal, and squeal is real, you guys. It really is. It is a real thing. So anyways, I became a creator. And then guess what happened? After um, I became a creator, the first two people that I introduced to Magnolia Design Co., they actually immediately joined to become creators because that's how great this is and that's how fun it is. And um, I'm not really sure what they, their absolute reasons for joining, but they both now have their own small businesses and they're running their own businesses. And you guys, both of them um, have sold many, many products. Um, they are selling the stuff that they're making. Like, it's incredible. It's just so great. So I am building a little rock star team here with Magnolia Design Co. And I think that it is fantastic. So let me tell you a little bit more. So right now I am, I'll tell you a little bit about what I'm doing. I am just fuzzing these stencils. So I'm just putting them on and then applying them onto the wood because I'm gonna do, um, I think several at a time that way because I am on a bit of a time crunch because you guys, we have so many fantastic creators that are going to be going live today with so many different projects. We've already had a couple and they were amazing. Lisa did this gorgeous um, wood block set and Melanie did this absolutely beautiful angel. And that is the power of Magnolia. And our community here at Magnolia is incredible. Everybody is so supportive and helpful. It is so awesome. So let me tell you a little bit more about the business side. So I get a discount on products that, let's be real, I'm, I would be purchasing these products anyways. So I get a discount and I even earn more free products, you guys. I am so excited about this. I already have, um, I've earned free products um, and I have, I am stacking up the credits for next month with my free products. So I am super, super excited about that. Um, I'm taking care of myself with my new hobby, my creative outlet, and so the self-care aspect that I told you is just so, so important. I am taking care of myself. I get to craft with friends. Um, I get to meet some amazing new people. It is just an incredible experience. Okay, I think I'm gonna go with black for the eight reindeer. So these are just the reindeer names, like I said before, and this here is Blitzen. So I am just going to grab our little Christmas squeegee, because I love the Christmas squeegee. And I'm gonna just get some coal black, apply it on here. You guys, I'm really a rookie. And if I can do this, anybody can do it, I'm telling you. And the best part is you can take off every little bit of excess and save it for later. Because then you have more to do more projects with. That is awesome. And then it is everybody's favorite. It is the peel reveal. And if you love it, you can squeal. And today we are showing the squeals with the hearts. So send me a bunch of hearts if this turns out good. Let's check it out. And we have Blitzen. I think it turned out fantastic. Check it out, peel, reveal, and squeal. Show me those hearts. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I love it, awesome. And I don't know why that makes me so happy every single time, but it really, really does. It makes me so happy. And I just decided I would have this little Christmas tree here and hang the ornaments as I get them so they can dry. Um, so anyways, I get to meet these fantastic, fantastic new people doing this. Let me tell you guys, the creator community at Magnolia Design Co. is incredible. I mean, we all work together. Everyone is extremely helpful. If I have any questions, I go directly to my upline, my sponsor. Um, and she's actually a founding creator 
Um, but <laughs> so that is great. She's able to provide me with the answers to so many questions that I have had in this first month, because let's be real. When you first start something, that's when you have all the questions all the time. So I have asked her a lot of questions and she has been so kind to me and so amazing. And we have Donna is finished there. And so along with that, my upline, my sponsor, she's so awesome. I'm just going to keep singing her praises. And guess what? Now she is like one of my new best friends. Isn't that awesome? Hey, Renee, if you're out there watching, thank you so much for being amazing and tolerating me and answering all my questions and everything else. Um, okay. I'm sorry. I completely forgot about the comments. So I probably missed some. Um, <laughs> Uh, but I will start watching again. I, I get so excited doing these crafts. Um, it makes me so, so happy, you guys. This is seriously part of my self-care that I, you guys, it makes me so happy. It puts me in a great mood. It relieves my stress. It gives me a creative outlet. And it makes me feel like I can do anything. Because if I can create these beautiful ornaments, these beautiful projects, then I can, it just empowers me. So I love that this crafting, it really can just empower you. It can just make you feel so great. Um, something so, so simple. All right. So um, let me tell you about some of the um, perks about this business because you guys, it is Small Business Saturday. So as much fun as I'm having crafting and showing you all the fun that you can do with crafting, Guess what? It's also a business. And here is Mr. Comet. Do y'all have a favorite reindeer? I mean, besides Rudolph, because Rudolph is, you know, uh, an obvious answer. Who's your favorite of the eight other reindeer? So let me know if you have a favorite of the eight other. Um, and we'll go through them again if we need to, but let me know who your favorite is of the others and why they're your favorite. If you just love the name or, um, if they had some special characteristic and I often get it on my hands. And so I keep baby wipes nearby so that I can, um, just wipe them off. Melanie loves Vixen. I love that name. And that's, the one that is up next. So perfect timing, Melanie. Um, okay. So let me tell you about one of the best perks about Magnolia. And that is, are you ready for it? I need like a drum roll. Da -da 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 -da. I don't have one. My son is musically talented. I'm not, unfortunately. But guess what it is? It is the deposits into my bank account. You guys, wow, I am actually earning money for my self-care endeavor. <laughs> what? What? Yes, I'm serious. Um, so let me tell you, here is Vixen. Vixen is a great name. So I think that one is probably going to be a popular reindeer. Hello, hello. Um, so yes, please. I love the deposits into my bank account. So let me tell you about my very first month with Magnolia Design Co. Because that was just last month, right? Like I joined in October and I had never done been exposed to magnolia before this i had um done a little bit of research and decided i wanted to try this chalk paste thing and magnolia had the absolute well one i like their stencils the best that's let's be real part of the reason why i chose magnolia and also their policies and procedures and just the way the company is ran is amazing there's no limits on how you can run your business. There is absolutely no quotas. It is just a fantastic, fantastic business. Prancer, I love the name Prancer as well. So um, I think that one's a really cool name for a reindeer also. Oh, that one's kind of hanging a little low there. Um, so that is why I chose Magnolia over all of the other businesses um, that I had kind of checked out, but I had no exposure. I had never been to a party. I had never seen it except for online. I had never done it. I just, um, 
I kind of have a tendency to just take a leap and jump right in. And that's just kind of what I did. I took that leap and I jumped in. Ooh, look at this one. It is Dancer. Dancer. That's probably also a favorite, especially if you are a dancer or if you love dancing. I'm sure Dancer might be another favorite reindeer. I mean, are there really any bad reindeer? I don't think so. <laughs> I mean, I, I love Christmas, you guys. Let me tell you, I just absolutely love Christmas. And Santa is one of my favorite, favorite parts of Christmas. Thank you so much, Heidi. I appreciate it. Hi, Lynn. How are you? Oh my gosh. Hey, Victoria. So good that you guys are able to see. <laughs> Melanie says no one wants to see her dance. Um, same. I have no musical ability. I don't know what it is. Um, so anyways, let me just finish out here with Dasher and then we'll have these first eight reindeer done. And you guys, if I can do eight Christmas ornaments this fast, I cannot draw a straight line. I cannot draw a circle. I cannot, I'm not artistic. I'm not crafty. But voila, I can make pretty things because of Magnolia Design Co. So there is Dasher. All right, so we got a little Dasher. This is my dollar store Christmas tree, but it works, right? I just thought it would be kind of cool to hang it on, hang the um, ornaments as I make them. Some of them are kind of turning around from the video, it looks like, but y'all get it, y'all get it. All right, so um, let me just take a quick little break here and tell you about my first month. So I started creating like some amazing, amazing home decor. And I have even had people buy some of the things I've made. Crazy, crazy, I cannot believe it. People are like, can I buy that from you? And I'm like, okay, I can make another one, sure. <laughs> so um, I started building a team. That happened in my very first month. I came into this for the discount, not gonna lie. You can ask my sponsor. I said, I'm only joining for the discount. I want to make stuff. I know I'll save enough money um, for the discount. So that's it. <laughs> well, then my friends decide they wanted to join. So I started building my own team. I received products back and cash money into my bank account, which not going to lie, I haven't quite decided what I'm going to spend that on, but I'm thinking more self-care, like I mean, a nice mani petty might be nice, um, something like that. <sighs> oh, Julie, yes, we are praying for you. I'm so sorry about that, but we will send up some prayers. Um, so, so sorry to hear that you have had that um, misfortune. Hi, Glenda. Thank you so much for tuning in. I appreciate you watching. Um, so this is just some fantastic stuff that has happened in my life because of Magnolia Design Co. Okay, so it's the most famous reindeer time. It's time for Rudolph. Now, I haven't decided what color should I do Rudolph? Should I do him also in the black or should I do red? Should I do um, green? What color should I do Rudolph? I also have the glittering black. What do you guys think? Let me know and I, that's what color I'm going to do Rudolph in. You guys, we have some amazing, amazing other um, crafters coming in soon. So I want to um, be aware of my time and make sure that I am able to finish my project here, but yet still allow enough time for them to get on. Red, red, everybody's saying red. Well, guess what? My, oh, I do not have the glitter red yet, Melanie, but oh, I wish I did. That's on my next order. I am ordering glitter red now. Um, Red, red, red. Okay, so red it is. Red is my favorite color. So good job, you guys. Thank you so much for voting red. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Okay, so I, I personally love the candy apple red because I love bright red. I am a... Fan, fan, fan of bright, bright red. So I'm gonna fuzz the stencil because these are brand new and I haven't used them yet. I do kind of cheat. I don't know if anybody else does this, but I bend the corner so that I can easily peel them off the sheets and um, whatever else uh, I'm sticking them to. So sometimes I bend the corners just to give me a little area because sometimes I don't have nails to really get them up. So anyways, if you decide that this all sounds like something 
that you would want to try. Magnolia Design Co. If you're like, hey, I want to try this as a business. I mean, if Jill can do it, anybody can do it. Let's be real here. <laughs> if you, oh, somebody else bends the corner. Okay, good, good, good. Hi, Diane. Good morning. Um, so I'm not the only one that bends the quarters. Um, so anyways, I would love to invite you to join our community of creators here at Magnolia Design Co. It is amazing, you guys. I have made some incredible friends and everybody has been so, so wonderful. Um, enrollment kits are available. They are, there are two different enrollment kits. One is $69, one is $99. Um, they both have, I mean, they're both the best DIY kit you can get, let's be real. <laughs> but um, they both have incredible things. And guess what? If you join today, you get a free gift. And uh, do you want a little spoiler alert of what that free gift is? It is a fantastic Magnolia Design Co. tote bag. And I just heard from Lisa, one of the co-owners this morning, that these tote bags are made by the same people that makes like the Victoria's Secret bags. So they are top-notch quality. You guys, I need one. So <laughs> if for no other reason, you could gift it to me if you really don't need the tote bag. <laughs> um, I'm going to have to see if I can't buy one from someone that already has the tote bag. So um, also later today, so if you are just remotely interested in becoming a creator, or maybe you just like free stuff. Who doesn't like free stuff? I love free, free stuff. So <laughs> I will do anything for a free gift. I think that's why I initially joined um, the Magnolia Design Co. call was just for the chance at winning a free gift. And so if you would like a chance at winning a $25, um, a $25 gift certificate for Magnolia Design Co., you can check out the Discover Magnolia call. And the Discover Magnolia Design Co. call is today at 1 p.m. Central Time. So that's going to be an awesome, awesome thing. And I just put my thumb in it again. Hence why I keep baby wipes on hand when I'm doing um, these uh, projects. But I love chalk base. It is my favorite, favorite medium. All right. So here is Rudolph. Are we ready for the peel and reveal? Oh, my gosh. I love it. Rudolph is red. I love it. I love it. I love it. Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer is also named red. Thank you so much, Linda. I think these are adorable. I absolutely love these um, like wood slice looking ornaments. I think they are amazing and they come with the jute already tied on and everything. They are ready to go. You make your mark and then add them to your tree just as simple as that. Should we put Rudolph on the very top? Maybe because, you know, he's the, he's the guy. He's the one that, you know, leads the sleigh when it's dark and it's foggy and whatever else might be happening. He is our guy, Rudolph. All right, let's see. Cute crafts. Hey, Linda, thank you so much, Julie. Andy, I appreciate it. You guys are so, so kind. I absolutely am so happy. Thank you, Heidi. I just love this. This is so fun. Um, okay. So you guys are making me feel a little bit more brave here about my crafting abilities because like I told you, I'm not a crafter, but apparently I am because Magnolia has made me into a crafter. This is so, so much fun. So um, one of these, so remember these are, this is the stencil that is actually designed for the rolling pins. It is the reindeer names um, and then the reindeer designs for the rolling pins um, and you can find those, hey Anna. Thank you. Um, so I decided I could still fit at least one of the little reindeer on here. And I thought that would be cute. Um, now, I think I want to try it in the chocolate brown. I'm not really sure how that's going to do. But the great thing about chalk paste is if I put it on and I really just don't like it, I can wipe it off and try again. That's also what I love. So when I make a mistake, because let's let's be real. Mistakes happen. That's life, right? I can just wipe it off and try again. I love it. Another reason to keep some wipes handy. Um, so I am going to try one of these reindeer and I think I will go ahead and try with the chocolate brown. Why not? Like I said, if it doesn't work out, I can always try again. 
Hi, Sheila. Thanks for tuning in. I appreciate it. We are having so much fun here. Um, make sure you reach out to your personal creator if you are interested in joining Magnolia. Like I said, today is the day to do it because y'all are getting a free gift. Um, and it's Small Business Saturday, so why not start your business on Small Business Saturday? That is absolutely perfect. Hi, Debbie. So great to see you. All right, so we have our reindeer here, and um, let's see. Kind of get my jute out of the way. I'm going to just center one of the reindeer on this design because um, I don't quite think I can fit more than one. I mean, I probably could. I could probably like stagger one up, one down, one up. Um, I don't know. I don't know if I, I think maybe just one. Sometimes I like like simple. I found that like a lot of my designs are just black and white and very simple. Or the glittering black, you guys, the glittering black chalk paste is gorgeous. Let me just tell you, I absolutely love it. It may be my favorite. Gray is one of my favorite colors. I mean, obviously I have a, a gray shirt on, but um, I love, I love red is my favorite color. And then I love, I say in gray scale. So black, gray, white, everything in gray scale. <laughs> so it's kind of weird. But anyways, um, I think that the glittering black is one of my favorites, if not my favorite. So again, these small cut apart squeegees, so they actually come in the this size. And I usually cut them into two or three uh, squeegees. So, and I use my Magnolia Design Co um, scissors because they are the absolute best, absolutely best. Obviously I use them to cut my stencils. I also labeled my stencils on the back. I labeled the backing paper so that once I clean them and get them ready to put back on here because they are reusable, they are reusable silk uh, screen stencils. I label the back so I know which one goes on which um, backing. That is especially important when they're not the same size. These being the same size, Maybe it wouldn't be as important, but um, just important for me, I guess. And I guess I just get in the habit of doing it. Hi, Kimberly. I'm going to catch the replay. Okay, great. That'll be awesome. All right, you guys, don't forget, fill out the Google form. So um, Magnolia Design Co. is sharing that Google form. I believe I put it in the title of this uh, video as well. So fill out that Google form because Magnolia is being so, so generous this weekend. So, so generous, you guys. One, if you place an order, if you are a customer, you place an order this weekend of $75 or more, they are giving you a free eight by 10 stencil of your choice. You get to choose it. I could not believe that. I already placed my order as a creator. Creators spend $100 or more, and I already got my free stencil. So I'm super excited about that. Um, I have it ordered. I will be um, really excited once that arrives. So make sure that also um, if you sign up to become a creator, you also get a free gift with your enrollment kit. So it's like they are being so incredibly generous this weekend and I'm so proud to be a part of it. And so I'm so proud to be part of this creator crafts and inspiration event. It is a fantastic event. Um, so many creators doing so many things. Oh, look, I, I think that the brown turned out all right. I think I definitely could add more to this if I wanted to, but I think it looks okay, you guys. What do you think? Um, I have my ring light turned down, so hopefully it's not too glary for you. Um, but I think it actually looks pretty cute, that uh, chocolate brown. I was a little bit worried, you know, sometimes brown on brown and then with the brown around the wood from the wood slice itself. But I think it actually looks pretty great. What do you guys think? What color would you have made the reindeer if um, not chocolate brown? I really like the chocolate brown. Hello, hello, Julie, thank you. I love it, I like the chocolate brown. And I love that the reindeer is like leaping through the air and just flying, getting ready to fly Santa's sleigh. Hey, Sarah. Hey, Diane. Thank you so much. I love all the love. Y'all are so wonderful. 
I can't see really where there's some openings, so we'll try right here. All right. <laughs> um, so also just wanted to remind you that there are so many different ways you can use these stencils. Like I said, these were actually um, intended to be used for the rolling pins. Rolling pins are super popular on um, like shelf items and tiered trays. So those would be wonderful as well. But you can also take any of these stencils and use them on so many projects. And that is really the beauty of it. And you can change out your decor with the season, whatever you want. Okay, you guys, Santa is up next. So Santa, I always think of Santa, I think of red. Should we do Santa red? Um, or should we do, yes, I love the rolling pins on the tiered trays too. I'm going to have to definitely probably try some of these uh, rolling pin stencils on the, on the actual rolling pins that they were made for too. Um, yes, you can add wire and that'll help to hang those up. Um, I just use this little tree uh, for demonstration today just to kind of be festive with it. So we got comment a little bit backwards here. And the good thing also with chalk base is it does dry fairly quickly. So handling these is not really an issue. Um, okay, so love the red for Santa. Thank you, Helga. Hi, Amanda. Um, I'm just trying to read these off of my iPad and my phone because I seem to be getting different <laughs> messages on different devices. Is that silly? Um, you know how Facebook works. Well, I, do we all really know how Facebook works? <laughs> the algorithms and such. We don't really know. Okay, so with Santa, I'm going to go ahead and, um, just kind of walk you through how, if you're a very first time user, exactly how we do it here at Magnolia. So um, when I get my stencil, I always, always label the back, like I said, just so that I know how they are. Then I peel the stencil. Remember they're reusable, but they are very, very sticky. So if you are applying them to any sort of hard surface, you want to use your tacky towel and fuzz them. If you do not have a tacky towel, many people will just use their shirt, use their pants, use another terry cloth towel. Um, the tacky towel really is superb. And the back of the tacky towel, if you can see here, the back um, is great for drying your stencils. Um, so another little bonus for the Magnolia tacky towel. Um, so I fuzz and I fuzz quite a bit because I don't want them to stick because when they're super sticky and then you apply it and you try to peel it off, it can stretch the stencil, it can um, just not come off very easily and it can hurt your stencil. Well, I like to be able to reuse my stencils. That's kind of the purpose of having these reusable silk screen stencils. So I fuzz it, then you just apply it and you guys, I if I can do this, I love, love, love that Magnolia centers all of their stencils on the center of the stencil itself. So you don't have to guess where the middle is. If you really wanted to like find the exact middle, you could fold it in half and you'd know right there is the exact middle. So, um, but I just apply it and we said red for Santa. Um, I use my squeegee and I just get a little bit of the red chalk paste on it and very lightly. So this is the key. I love crisp lines in my projects. Um, and that just might be, say a little thing about my character, but I love, love, love crisp lines. Hi, Gloria. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you're having an amazing day. Um, and so as light a pressure as you can, just cover the stencil very lightly. And like I said before, if you weren't watching, wipe off the excess because you can reuse it. So I get it and I just put it back in. When we are using just one color, especially, and we're not mixing colors together, reuse every little bit. You guys, I just love that you need a little bit of product and that you can make so, so many projects. So then it is time for everybody's favorite thing. It is time for the peel and reveal. And I don't know why I <laughs> had to check my watch when I said it is time. Oh my goodness. I don't know. Sometimes I guess maybe, maybe I did it subconsciously. Um, I'm a psychotherapist. I guess I should know if 
if that were the case, but I'm not really sure. <laughs> but I had to check the time when I said it is time. So it is time for the peel and reveal. Will you squeal? If you're squealing, send me some hearts. And oh my gosh, this one turned out perfect. Santa and how great is it that Santa is perfect? Because Santa is perfect, you guys. Who doesn't love Santa? I adore Santa. Always, always, always a believer for me. Santa, I can still hear the bell ring in um, the Polar Express. And so Santa is absolutely perfect and it turned out perfect so I have one more I'm going to show you before I jump off here because guess what we have more creators that are waiting to go live and you guys they are lined up all day long so um Diane Brown is going to be coming up next and she is going to be doing a fantastic project so I'm so excited about that don't forget one o'clock central time. I don't know exactly where you're located. I am in Florida, so I'm on Eastern time, but one o'clock central time. Join that Discover Magnolia call. Get yourself a chance to win that $25 gift card to Magnolia. What a fantastic thing. That is just for jo joining that call. Um, so give up a little, few minutes of your time for a chance to win. And also fill out the Google Forms that's on this link as well because Magnolia is giving away um, free stencils and they are an exclusive stencil that cannot be purchased. So um, that's really awesome of them as well. This time I think I'm gonna go ahead and use the peppermint leaf. This is the sleigh it says. So um, since I haven't used the green yet, we'll make Santa sleigh green. I always think of Santa sleigh as being red, but maybe just the words. So maybe I'm picturing this as being the words on the side of the sleigh. And so they can be green. All right, so our last one, and you guys, we just, in this little bit of time, for somebody who's not crafty, no artistic talent, we made 12 different ornaments. Um, we more than filled up the tree, and we more than filled up our time, you guys, more than filled up my heart with all of the hearts, all the love. I cannot wait to get off and read all of the comments and... Um, just get to see all the love from you guys. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. I appreciate it. I appreciate you guys showing me the love here on the Magnolia Design Co. page. So make sure that you enroll today. Check out your favorite creator, your personal creator. Get some more information and enroll. And the green looks beautiful, you guys, on the wood slice as well. So this one says Slay, and I really like the green as well. So I did not find a color today that I did not like on the wood slices. So um, perfect. All right. So again, thank you so much for joining me on this small business Saturday. Um, I had so much fun with you guys. Don't forget that Google form. Try to win yourself and keep watching for who the winners are um, for that exclusive stencil. Also, coming up next is creator Diane Brown DIY with Die, and um, she is going to be doing a very special and amazing project. So thank you guys so much for joining me. I am Jill Nichols with Simple Soul. Again, I hope you enjoyed my story. I may have had a pretty short time with Magnolia Design Co. so far, but it has been significant and amazing and awesome. And you all rock. So I am so, so happy that you were able to join me and I can't wait to see what other projects are coming up next. Have an awesome day, y'all.